Um, I'm Claudia Conway. I'm 16. My mom is Kellyanne Conway. She works for Donald Trump. She was the campaign manager in 2016, the first woman to lead a successful presidential campaign. And she had a long and successful career in conservative politics and polling before that. President-elect Donald Trump senior advisor Kellyanne Conway back with us. Great to have you. you. And a new role just announced moments ago. You were going to serve as counselor to the president. I am. You'll be in the West Wing? I will. Kellyanne Conway has been by the president's side through thick and thin. There is no den she will not go into. When my men are petrified to go on a certain network, I say, Kellyanne, would you do Absolutely, no problem. Then she gets on and she just destroys them. I have four kids. We meet your family. I see them behind you. Well, they, they are, are so cute. George. Oh, George. Look at them. Oh, they are yeah. not shy. Charlotte and Vanessa, and okay. their brother George is off camera. And your dad. We need dad to come closer. Oh, yeah. Hi. We've nev I've never met your husband either. Nice to meet you. Noted to conservative attorney George Conway. George Conway, the conservative lawyer who is married to White House counselor Kellyanne Conway. I'm half Filipino, and the other half is some mixture of Irish, Scottish, you know, I'm classic American mutt. The aforementioned George Conway. Thanks for being here. And thanks for having me. My mom literally has been working under Donald Trump for four years. Um, it's been four years. And I'm 15, so what, I was 11, maybe? Um, when he was elected, 12, maybe? It's, if you had told me three years ago that it would come to this, I, I, I wouldn't have believed it. Girls, come over here, please. I can't Hi. wait to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Now, what is your name? I'm Claudia. You're Claudia, how old are you, Claudia? I'm 12. 12, and how old are you? Eight. Charlie, you're shy. Nine. 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 And you're, how old are you? I'm uh, seven. seven. And my son George is off camera. All right. He's, 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 he's a little shy. Yeah. George is your twin, right? Yes. Okay. What's that like being a twin? It's good and bad, but I, I we love each other. Um, I don't know. We always know what each other's like thinking, really. I don't know. We're now, friends, best friends, really. What's it like seeing your mom on TV all the time? Um, it's interesting. It gets really. I don't know. George, you're laughing. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because that's an interesting word for her to use. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like for you, George? Well, it's, and my mom. I, Hi, my mom. it's interesting, as, I, as she said, and uh, it's exciting. It's really just a big thrill to see yeah. Kellyanne here at the White House and, and working with the president and doing all sorts of exciting things. My children have had the privilege of being at the White House, but at the same time, they just want normal childhoods the way they all do, and, and it's my first duty to make sure that they have that. You know what? I guess this is my life now. Like, I can't really, I can't do anything about it. Like, I blew up. You know, I, I, I blew up and I, that wasn't on me. Like I all of a sudden, overnight I had like five, 300,000 followers and like I couldn't do anything about it. And I know that I have a platform. So that's why I've been talking about this. And that's why I'm so open about talking about the abuse and trauma that I endured because I think it's so important um, because I know people who, you know, have endured the same abuse and have gone through the same trauma. And I, you know, I just, I figured I had to come on here and talk about this because this is like insane. You can't a, a new photo of me today. And this is about telling the truth about what really happened. No, I'm not okay. Thanks guys though. I'm just showing everyone the truth. You sent a new photo. I did not. Yes, you did. It's pretty scary, I think. But what Kellyanne Conway did the other day was super illegal. It just makes you stronger the end. Also, like this just like isn't funny. Like it's just like this isn't a joke. Like I know I joke about this a lot, but like this isn't a joke. Like my mental health is at an all-time low right now. I believe Claudia Conway's story of abuse and she needs to be removed before something serious happens to her. Saying that I do believe Claudia Conway. She is telling the truth.
is Kellyanne Conway. She works for Donald Trump, and she just tweeted that she is leaving the White House. And my dad tweeted that he's leaving the Lincoln Project, which is basically um, Republicans against Trump. Well, now at 10.30, breaking news out of Washington, D.C. tonight. On the eve of the Republican National Convention, White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway announced she's leaving the Trump administration. In a statement, Conway said she will depart at the end of the month to focus on family matters. Conway's husband, George, a vocal critic of President Trump, tweeted he would be leaving his role with the Lincoln Project for similar reasons. Their 15-year-old daughter, Claudia, tweeted yesterday that she was seeking emancipation from her parents. She had recently gained social, me social media attention for critical posts about the president and her parents' clashing views. Please don't believe anything that you see, especially like my parents saying that they're doing it for the family. They're not, like they're not at all. At a friend's house, having a nice night, and that's how I found out. There was no discussion, no family discussion about this. I was not asked about how I felt about anything. Um, I literally just found out. I found out 20 minutes ago. Um, you all probably found um, out, you know, earlier than me, sooner than me. No, it wasn't talked about with me first. Um, nothing was talked about me. No, nothing was talked about to me. They, I found out on Twitter, which is really, really sad, but it's the truth. Whereas for me, you know, I've been talking about emancipation for a while now. I've been talking about it for a few years now, um, and they know that. So yes, I will be, I will be pushing for emancipation. I turned 16 in October. So I'm waiting until then. I tweeted about my emancipation yesterday, which is kind of just a coincidence, which is really frustrating because my parents were talking about divorce and they were supposed to get divorced, but I'm assuming that now they're not because they're scared of me emancipating myself, which is really unfair, but um, I guess that's life. So, and now their case is gonna be a lot stronger against mine because you know they left for family reasons, but I can tell you being their daughter, they don't give a shit. Like they don't give a shit. Um, my dad doesn't care about me. He never, he's never cared about me. Um, he probably doesn't even know my middle name, um, uh, which is really sad, but it's true. You know, he never really cared about me my whole life. He always belittled me when I was younger. My dad physically abused me a lot, um, right here in this very room. And my mom, the same thing with my mom, you know, my mom got me arrested. You know, she's very, very physically abusive. Um, very, very verbally abusive. I've been belittled and badgered my entire life. And, and, you know, I have all these, you know, you know, I have all these issues because of my parents and what they did to me. So I, I'm still pushing for emancipation because I deserve justice. I think anyone who's gone through what I've gone through deserves justice because it's not okay. Um, people like this shouldn't be allowed to have kids. They shouldn't be allowed to work, be one of the most powerful women in the world. Uh, my mom should have never had her position in the first place. My mom, I think my mom is like a sociopath. She, I, if I'm just gonna be honest, like she has no compassion for my feelings or anything or nothing. Um, you know, like I said, she got me arrested and you know, I can say like, oh, she got me arrested, but there's a whole story behind it and it's a really fucked up story. It's really, really fucked up. I think they're just scared that I'm going to emancipate myself, which I am, I'm going to try. Hopefully I will succeed, but the odds against me aren't very, they aren't looking too good right now because this is really getting out of control and I have to get out of the situation I'm in. Um, and it sucks that I'm kind of being used as a publicity stunt and a PR stunt, it actually sucks. Um, um, yeah, it's just totally unfair, but that's life. And I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just kind of just in shock. I'm kind of just like, I don't want pity, like please don't pity me. I'm just very, very, very overwhelmed. I have everybody in the world contact me, to contacting me right now and it's just like a lot. And I can't even cry anymore because I'm so numb like to crying, like I just can't. I'm on this earth because of all of you, like and I'm really grateful for that. Um, and I'm really trying to manage my, my situation. But um, I love you guys so much. Um, and I just want to say thank you for supporting me. Here's the thing. Here's what I just said to my parents. Um, I know why they did it. Um, because I did. It, there's no coincidence as to why they did it. You know, I tweeted yesterday about my emancipation. And then today they come out with this news that I had no idea of that was never talked about. And they were filing for divorce. My mom did final, was trying to finalize things. 
but I guess they're putting on this whole show for the publicity and the media. Uh, my siblings don't know, which is really, really unfair because nothing was ever talked about. None of this was ever talked about with my siblings. I have two little sisters. They are 10 and 12 years old, and they don't understand anything. They don't understand my mom's job. They don't understand who my mom works for. They don't understand the Lincoln Project. They don't understand anything, which really sucks. But, you know, when I was my sister's age, they have my mom more than I did when I was their age. You know, I never really had my mom, which is okay. Like, that's fine.